I'm an avid hiker myself, so you could hike forever here. Horseback riding. And it's one of the great things about, uh, one of the huge assets that Boston Mat Mountain had for me is that it provided a community which outside, I just walk out my door and I have in, the most amazing uh, mountains to hike in. And the, they're groomed for me to be able to go and do it. Um, and I don't have to have a guide to do it. I know how to do it on my own. The horses, my horses are right outside the door. Um, and it provided me the type of lifestyle that I, I find that brings me great joy. I mean, it was this, what it enhances my life is what life is all about, is being able to do these, these things that bring me great pleasure. Really great part is being able to have the, the feeling that you are living out in the woods, but you've also got this sense of luxury. You have an incredible golf course. My son says it is the best golf course that he has ever played and he's played a lot of golf, a lot of, play, a lot of different places. He's traveled and played a lot of different places but he likes a challenge. It's a challenging golf course and it has the most amazing views. And I can come and ride horses or, or take advantage, we can take advantage of all the amenities because they are complete and there are not many uh, communities that are in the position that Boston Mountain is in because all the amenities are complete and um, it gives it a sense of stability that other um, places do not have at this time. From Balsam you can jump down to Asheville for an evening and come back. So if you want to go down and see a great um, performance that is going on or play, because there are a lot of great plays, um, or if you want to just go down and have dinner, there's so many restaurants down there to have dinner. Being able to enjoy Asheville, the proximity to a town that is so rich and colorful, um, Asheville has just an amazing artistic community. If you can go down by the river um, and check out all the artists down there and the potters, they have incredible pottery. Um, we have wonderful art galleries and the people are so interesting. I could sit downtown Asheville at a cafe and nurse a cup of coffee and just watch the people because they are so interesting. And you've got to go check out the drummers. You can't miss that because that, uh, that just shows you the spirit of the interesting side, one of the interesting sides of Asheville that you just won't find other places. It's a great, just a great community. But just outside of Balsam you can find any kind of hike that you want to go on. There are incredible waterfalls, there's great lakes if you want to go fishing. Um, it's just nature is, you're surrounded by the most beautiful nature that you could ever imagine. And then on top of it, Two of the places that I love to go, if you don't want to drive into Asheville, Silva is absolutely fan fantastic and it is literally just right down the road. And it is just a precious little Norman Rock Rockwell town. It is darling. And Waynesville is actually a very sophisticated little mountain town. It has a lot of great arts uh, going on there. They have um, ballet and music and theater. The staff that they have at Balsam is amazing and they, there is a sense of luxury, um, the way they take care of you. It's a very nurturing staff. Um, they're warm and friendly, but at the same time they, they really do take good care of you. And um, the food is amazing and the restaurant is just great and the views are so breathtaking. Um, and then you get to sit in front of this big roaring fire and it's just, it is a magical experience. It's so romantic, oh my gosh, you know, if you're lucky enough to have uh, somebody with you, uh, a sweetheart with you, you get to go back to the cabin and make a fire, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty magical. Very romantic place.